This is my Heiko or Hako soldering iron 502. I've had this for a long time and the tip went bad. It was pitted and I couldn't find a replacement for it. Well, I did actually find it. It's like $3. Uh, you can buy it online and with shipping it will be like, uh, you know, quite quite a few dollars and uh, I found this piece of wire I, pick, I picked it up you know in a garbage and it looks like maybe I could use the copper in here to make a tip so that's what I'm gonna do let's see here instead of buying some copper wire which would be expensive then this sort of defeats the purpose if I were to spend money on buying copper I might as well just buy the replacement tip here maybe I can just strip a few pieces out straighten it sharpen it file it down or grind it down So here I have a piece of wire already. So the original tip is four millimeter in diameter and seventy-seven millimeter in length. So that's what I'm going to do. And uh, also, when I was trying to pull the old tip out, it was stuck in there, and I couldn't understand why I couldn't pull it out. There was actually a little uh, raised ridge here at the back here and you really have to yank the thing out and it will just come out. Just So you just, un, uh, you just loosen the screws here and just yank the, the whole thing out. So I'm just gonna cut a piece of wire now. and I'm gonna work on it. Looks like it's copper. So I ground it down to the shape that I wanted, which is like a pointed shape, right? So this is what I wanted. I understand this won't be as long lasting as the original tip, but I can easily make another one yep more or less that's it I'm gonna try it out I'm gonna tin the tip with uh, solder Okay, after I tinned the tip, I took the soldering iron apart because I want to put in an LED indicator light, just like what I did here with the glue gun. And this is the LED. I put a 100K half watt resistor here. And on the positive side, there's a 1N4007. And that's plugged into AC now. I had tested it before and um, the resistor doesn't get hot at all with this setup. And uh, technically, if you do it this way, the LED would have some kind of flutter but or flicker. But I don't I don't actually see that. And I think it would work well in the soldering iron here as long as you don't open it while it is plugged in. Of course you wouldn't open it if it is plugged in anyway because this thing is gonna is gonna hurt you because it's gonna be very hot. Plus the circuit would be live and if you touch any part of the AC it can shock or kill you. 
So you, you definitely have to be aware of that. But I think having the LED indicator would save me a lot of pain. There's more than a few times I forgot that this soldering iron was plugged in and I forgot about it. So the indicator light would definitely help. Okay, this is the finished product. I have a new tip and I tinned it. And then over here I have a red LED so that I would know that this is still plugged in. I didn't put the LED over here. Some of the soldering irons have a white LED here because there's simply not enough room here inside. And also this area would get obviously pretty hot because it's close to the body of the soldering iron. So I think this this will work out nicely. Just make sure that you know what you're doing because this LED here is running off the AC mains and don't open up the soldering iron uh, when the unit is plugged in. Alright, thanks for watching.